Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to our Harmony Islands, where in the last episode, Lanair gave birth to some of our very first lines of royalty, including this one right here, Neurokir, who is probably the most valuable male in the pack right now, because he does not have immunity gene B in his genetics, and he does have the no-paw, which is a little bit unfortunate, but he is very, very strong, and he's also very capable of giving us some healthy babies. So he is one of the uh, members of the pack that we're actually considering as we're trying to move off to a new island. We're going to go off to the right in this episode to hopefully migrate. And it seems like we probably have about nine slots here. I believe this is about nine spaces for us to hopefully move little critters with. So we have to choose which ones are going to come with us and which ones are going to stay behind and just live out the rest of their lives on this little starter island. So of course, Lanair, first and foremost, is going to be one of the ones who comes with us. She is our goddess reborn after all, she is our little queen of the pack, and although she's about halfway through her lifespan, she is definitely going to be helpful just because she has an eight in strength. So knowing how many predators are out there in the new islands, I know she is definitely going to be a big help for us. And I think before we take her off to the new island, what we're going to do is have her breed one last time with Roroduke so that she goes to uh, the new island ready to have one more child and hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be one just as great as Neurokir because we do need more males in the pack who are not only strong but have those uh, special immunity genes since I believe almost all of our females actually have um, immunity gene B. Another one that I know we're definitely going to take is Kakola, our little uh, soda pop baby over here. She has the berry paw, so she's going to be like our line of collectors, but her genetics line up so well with Neurokir. Not only is it possible for us to uh, get panda babies out of them, but they also both have the violet eyes and the recessive traits. So I am so excited to see if we could possibly pull that out of their genes and uh, get some little violet eyed babies out of them. So they will be coming and I also wanted to take Lamay back here because she's one of the very few females who does not have the blindness trait in her genetics at all. So although she's more likely to get sick with her double B immunity genes, she does not have the uh, blindness trait and I know that's something that could become a problem once we migrate islands. So she is also coming with us. I'm hoping to take Rovan because he has double A's and uh, that might help us out if we run into problems with B. I would like to take a Mesri as well because she has that lovely berry paw and we do need more collectors with us on the island just in case resources are scarce. Um, it really is just the luck of the draw once we get to the new island because we're not sure if we're going to have a whole bunch of berry bushes right off the bat or if we're really going to have to scrape by and collect every last berry that we possibly can. And then I would also like to take Ikoana with us because she's part of the other line of um, royalty from Lanair, and I'm thinking that she will probably be breeding with Rovan to kind of continue along the line of scouts. That's um, my plan anyway, and as far as the males go, most of these guys are really getting up there in age. Most of them are quite old. Um, we have Kirvanro, who was the original son of, I believe it was... The anime, and he's almost completely finished on his lifespan, so unfortunately it looks like we will not be taking anyone with the poison fangs with us. They could still be in some of the genetics. Um, let's see, I believe, yeah, Rovan still has it down here. It might be a little bit hard to pass it along past his uh, spit snout, but he does have it in his genetics, so it is possible that we could bring it back on the bigger island, but we won't be taking Kirvanro with us because it would just be a waste since he's so old he would end up dying straight away. Honestly, it's going to take a few turns for us to get everyone up there anyway, um, so he might end up passing away before we even leave the island. And we should probably start on that straight away um, after we gather up a few more of our berries here because we have just a couple more spots to pick from. We should definitely start moving Lanair down there because as you can see, she has a very, very slow speed. So it's going to take her quite a few days to just get over to the shore. We'll bring her over here and then we'll have her breed with um, Roroduke right now so that she'll be ready to uh, carry his baby over to the new island. Island, but that's all the moves that she can make. Um, we might actually need to make a path for her. So we'll have Kuro move up here and pick these berries. And uh, we can have Marasi knock the acorns down so that we can start gathering up these as well. Kukuduk is one of the ones that I would like to take though, even though he's about halfway through his lifespan, just because he could help protect the pack. Again, those predators, we know that there are a lot of predators on this new island, so we want to have as many able bodies as we can. Uh, Marasi can pick up these acorns. 
Um, I think Takirku will be the other one that we end up bringing in. Look at his range! I mean, not only will he help us by protecting the pack, but he will be able to explore very, very quickly. So that should be a big help too. We'll start bringing him this way as well. Gosh, he can almost get directly to the shore in just like one day here. So that's not bad at all. Um, Coca-Cola can stay right here for now and pick these berries. And um, she can stay right next to her mother actually. So they can kind of bond one last time before they uh, go their separate ways. Um, is Reese, with your very final turns here, you can knock down a couple more of these acorns at least. Um, it looks like we can pick up these, and there's one more right here. I want to gather as much food as possible. This is about maybe the average amount that you guys have given me as far as um, how many berries we should have before we leave. Um, now let's see, Ikoana, we wanted to take you too, so we'll move you off this way. You are another one who's going to be very, very slow, actually. And we have to wait for the uh, next turn to start moving Neurokir off in that direction as well. So Mesri, why don't you scoot around the tree this way? It's going to be a little bit hard to get all of them over there in time. Um, we'll leave LeMay right there because she's pretty close anyway. So let's go ahead and skip the turn. Um, and yeah, some of them are already passing away. I believe that was, is Reese, who was the final warrior sister who was left, which is a little bit sad. But we'll start moving these guys a little bit further along. Let's see, Rovan, you're coming with us, so you might as well scoot off this way. You can sit right next to LeMay, in fact. And then Aikawana, we want to take you as well. But why don't you gather up these berries first, since you have um, one of the berry paws. There we go. And then we need to start moving Neurokir up there too. So although... Lanair gives us some pretty amazing babies. They are all quite slow, so that's going to be a little bit hard to work around. But let's go ahead and pick our berries. You guys are staying behind, so you'll be able to pick up all of these berry bushes as we move our way toward the new side of the island. And now you can get through Lanair. You can scoot on through this way. There we go. It's going to take her a lot of food just to get over to the shore. It's unfortunate that the island we want to get to is literally on the opposite side of uh, the place where Lanair was. But we can't do anything about that, really. So we'll just pick up our berries and make sure that she has enough turns to get by. You can knock down a couple more acorns. There we go. Um, it looks like you'll have to wait till the next turn to get that one, though. Unless we possibly move to Kirku right here, then he can pick up those at least. And um, that should help us give us just um, a couple more turns as we're moving along. Why don't we have Kuro knock these down? Um, I think that was only... Okay, there's two there. So you can pick up that one. Marasi, since you're staying behind, you might as well use your turns to pick up those. And then Mesri can uh, start scooting over this way and sit with the rest of her pack mates over here. So they're almost ready to uh, sit on these migration tiles. And I believe in the next turn, we might be just about close enough. Hopefully Neurocare is going to grow up soon so that he'll have that extra turn that he needs. And I think I'm going to give him and um, Aikoana those special gems that we gave Lanair so that we can kind of mark them off as like the prince and the princess of the island almost. Um, and I think that's about it. We can leave all of those guys there. It doesn't look like there's many more opportunities for us to uh, pick food. So let's see, is there anyone I can sit in between these bushes? Um, Marira maybe? We don't want her to get separated anyway since she is blind. So we'll put her right there. It would be absolutely excellent if it would rain right before we left. I mean, I can't think of anything better than that. And oh my goodness, oh no, that was another one. Kirvanro, I believe. But let's see, um, how far can you get on this turn, Lanair? How far can you possibly get? Um, you could get a little bit further if some of these guys weren't in the way, actually. So Rovan, if you come down here and clear out this grass, then we can start moving these guys straight over to these migration tiles. I believe that's what these are. Um, I'm hoping that there's enough spaces for all of these guys, so we'll see if that is the case. Um, to Kirku, you want to be by the shore as well. We'll pick up some more berries, and Lanier, how far can you get? Let's see, you are almost there, so we want her to be at the head of this, I think. We'll make sure that she is right at the front, and she's ready to lead these guys off. Um, I'm a little bit nervous that I'm going to end up clicking it too soon, though, so we want to make sure that enough of them are in the area, so that we're not um, going into this without our troops. So there we go, we're moving them there already. Um, we do want to make sure that her son is following and her daughter as well. So it's going to take them a little bit longer. And hello, little bunny, you're coming out to us. Say bye to us, it looks like. We'll pick up some more of these berries too and keep an eye on that bunny there. There we go, there we go, that's going to help us. 
Um, why don't you actually come over here so you can pick up the berries with your turns and just help your mother as she begins her journey to this new island. And it looks like these guys have a couple more turns to use. There we go. Ikoana, you can go up this way. Oh, and there's another little bunny. All right. And you are munching away at our berries, aren't you? So we're actually going to have to hop over here and grab you because we want the meat. We want to keep the meat with us as we're uh, moving off to this new island. So let's grab some more of these acorns too. We don't want to forget about these because it seems like we can get about two um, per turn. Two of these acorns falling, so it's always good to knock them down. And then we can pick a couple more of these berries, and I think we're just barely staying above um, what we had before, so that's good to see. Now is there anyone else who needs to move? Who else is coming with us that I've forgotten about? Kukuduk was going to come with us. Um, he's already getting a little bit older too, so we definitely want to hurry up on this. We want to make sure that these guys are getting to the islands um, before they get too old. And I think that's about it. So we'll skip the turn now. And then hopefully, um, hopefully this one will be growing up soon. I think he's going to be growing up in his next turn. Aikoana already grew up, so she'll have that extra turn to use as we try to get them to the shore. Um, now, Lanair, you can officially make it right over to these migration tiles. And this is the final one, I believe. This is the uh, travel tile. So all of the creatures that are on these tiles, once we press this button, will uh, migrate to the new island. So we need to make sure that everyone is sitting on these tiles before we move them. Um, let's see, we want Aikoana to come off this way as well. And we'll have her sit right here. And then we want her uh, brother to start moving this way too. So it's going to take him a little bit longer until he gets that last gem of his. And in fact, why don't we change her gems right now? While we're thinking about it, we'll change her middle one to orange and her last one to blue. So that we can kind of mark her off as that little line of royalty. Now LeMay, we want you to come with us as well. And we want uh, Rovan to sit right here. And I think Takirku can sit um, right here too. So there we go. So it looks like we're just missing Kukuduk and Neurokir at this point. Those are the last ones that we need to travel with us. We'll have him sit right here and pick up these berries while we wait for um, Neurokir to grow up. And then all of you guys, you can continue picking your berries too to uh, help us along. So I think that's all we can do. We'll go ahead and skip the turn again and hope that nobody else passes away. Um, all of the critters who are migrating are just fine and it looks like Neurokir also grew up so let's change your gems too you are a little prince with your amazing genetics so you are also part of this royal family and I think that's about it guys I think we are finally ready to migrate islands so all we have left to do is collect a little bit more of this food we want to pick up every last piece that we possibly can on this island because who knows what sort of resources are going to be available to us at this point, we are at the mercy of the random generators. Whatever they decide to throw in our direction, once we finally do land on that new island, we could have an amazing luck. We could have tons of resources if we're really, really lucky, but we could also get really unlucky and end up with uh, nothing at all. So let's move Neurokir this way. We'll sit him right here next to his mother. And then it's just Kukaduke now. Let's move you right here and, and let's cross our fingers that this works properly, guys. Let's hope that everyone moves along with us I'm pretty sure that they're all on the migration squares. And let's wave goodbye to all of the creatures who are being left behind now. Oh, you guys, I'm going to miss you all so much. Marira, who is almost at the end of her lifespan, she's going to have to watch over all of these children along with Roro Duke. He'll be able to rest easy knowing that he'll have one more child born on this brand new island as long as we can find a nest. And of course, La Anime, you can actually say goodbye to your daughter with your very last turns as well as she moves on to embark in this brand new world. So here we go, guys. Let's see what sort of island we end up on. All right, here we are, and it's already looking a little bit spookier than the last one. We have so much swampland over here. All of these swamps and all of these tiny little deserts. Oh my gosh, and it is huge too, and we have trees too, which is very good to see. We have a tree actually right next to the shore here. So we probably want to clear that out as soon as possible so that we can uh, collect the acorns that fall from those. And we even have one over here too. So we have a nest right here, which is, is that in the swamplands? Um, no, it's right outside of the swamp. We have a couple nests over here too. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's going to be a good place for us to kind of branch off to. 
and I don't see any more nests that are uh, available to us. So at least we have a couple resources that we know we can use, and it looks like we have a little berry bush here too, a little like shriveled up berry bush, and hello guys! So did you all move with us? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Every single one of them made it with us on this journey. Nobody got lost along the way to the new island. That's amazing to see. That's what I was a little bit worried about, but there we go, guys. We are on our brand new island now, so we have so much work to do. We need to get Lanair to a nest straight away so that she can have her next baby before she gets too old. And I think we might start uh, carving out our path to do just that. So a little warning for you guys, I have not actually played on these new islands yet, so this is completely new for me as well. And I'm hoping that that's not going to spell disaster for us. I'm hoping that we're going to be able to uh, keep our little critters surviving and thriving throughout all of this. But it is always possible that we could end up going extinct. So if that happens, then at least we can walk into the next pack knowing that we have a little bit more experience on our hands. So luckily, none of our creatures are babies just yet. I know that there are some dangers hidden away on this island for our babies, so we are going to have to keep a close eye on this um, next one that's going to be born. But we have tons of berry bushes in here too. I was not expecting all of these berry bushes. That is excellent to see. So everyone has used up their turns. Let's go ahead and skip the day so that we can collect all of our berries in the next one and uh, hopefully move Lanair straight over to this nest. In fact, we'll do that straight away so that she can give birth to her next baby. And let's make sure that the mutation menu is set up the way we need it to. So that was Rorodukes Child. And I think that means we actually want to put the running leg on here too. We'll keep the ram horns in there and the running leg in um, our 30% slot because Roroduke did have the um, no paw. So it would be nice if we could get rid of the no paw with this baby as well. But why don't you, Mesri, go ahead and pick up all of these berries with your berry paw? Oh my gosh, so many berries. All right, that was excellent. And Kakola can do the same since she also has a berry paw. And then Takirku, you are going to need to start exploring this area a little bit more to make sure that uh, none of these predators are going to jump out and attack poor Lanair. LeMay can actually come up here and do the same in the Swamplands. Um, she might not actually be the best one to place in the swamp though because of her immunity genes, so we'll have to keep a close eye on her. And Neurokir, we want to start breeding him as soon as possible, so we might move him right over here to breed with Kokola, and then we'll move him up a little bit further so that he could possibly breed with uh, LeMay as well. Now, Kukuduk, you can pick up these, and then you should probably go over here to explore this grass for us. And we have Lanair kind of surrounded at this point, so hopefully that means she'll be safe. Let's move her daughter right up here too. There we go, and let's hope that nothing jumps out at us. We haven't seen any new predators yet. Oh, but that was a lot of noise. Did you hear all that noise? That was a little bit menacing. I wonder what that was. And look at this little baby though. Look at you, Duke Ro. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. He has the violet eyes in his recessives. He does have immunity gene B, so it's not going to be as helpful as um, his brother. But he doesn't have the blindness trait, which is good to see too. And it seems like he is very, very strong. Yeah, that is what we need to see right now on this new island. So he is very strong indeed. And he is a good final son for Lanair too. So let's see, we probably want to start exploring off of this way pretty soon. So why don't we have Takirku kind of pick up these acorns and clear out as much of the grass as he can. Um, we're going to have Kokola move up there, but we want to swap around the mutation menu a little bit beforehand. We want to place the berry paw in here. And um, I guess we'll place the runner leg in there too, since Neurokir does have the no paw like his father did. We want to uh, breed that out as soon as possible. So Kokola can't use that nest just yet since the baby can't move out of there. So for now, we'll just have her kind of sit here and pick up these berries. And we'll have these guys continue pushing out the territory, I guess. That's about all that they can do right now. So it's going to take a lot of food to explore, and that's why we wanted to bring so much with us. Um, it's important to make sure that we have enough food and we're not going to end up starving our creatures, but I think we're having good luck so far. I mean, we have these two bushes right here, we have this tree right here. We're actually pretty darn lucky. Um, we do have also one of these bushes. There it is. So we want to make sure that we see this. We'll have Rovan come down here and peek at this so that we know it's right there. And we also want to make sure that the grass is cleared out around this nest, so we'll have her do that. Um, we need to make sure that someone is near these babies at all times too. That's something that you guys have warned me about. So although I haven't come across these birds yet, I do know that we need to make sure these babies are not left unattended. I'm going to try my best to remember that. That's like a new strategy that we've never really had to deal with before. So I am, I will apologize ahead of time if I end up uh, letting any of these little babies get scooped away. 
but I think that's about it for this turn. Um, we want to leave Mesri right there anyway, so we'll go ahead and skip the turn now. And then we should be able to move this little baby right out of the nest. We'll move him right here, in fact, so that Coca-Cola can sit in the nest and then she can have her first baby on the island too. So there we go. We want to start moving these guys toward um, the new nest too. So we'll go ahead and peek in this grass. Takirku, unfortunately, is going to be passing away soon because he was a little bit older than um, the rest of the pack anyway. And same with Kukaduk. So we want them to explore as much as they possibly can with whatever is left of their lives. Um, we'll go ahead and explore there too. And I think we might actually have Neurokir come around. And uh, what is that? Wait a second. What on earth is this thing? What are you? Let's peek at this. Um, it doesn't really seem like it can do anything, actually. That is really strange. It looks like a little um, bush of some sort, but... Oh gosh, I hope it's not going to harm our pack. I'm not sure if maybe we should move these guys away from it. I mean, they can't use it, so that's a little bit worrying. <laughs> we'll move him right there so that he's not standing right next to this uh, menacing looking plant. And then Ikoana, why don't you come over here and peek in um, these tiles right here? Since we have these savanna or uh, desert tiles, we should be unlocking some of those old genes again, like uh, the big ears. Uh, once we um, explore enough savanna tiles, we'll have the big ears to look at, which I am so excited to bring back into the pack. That is going to be so much fun. I loved the Big Ear family from our previous pack. Um, Rovan can actually come up here and pick up a couple of these berries. We do want him to breed with Ikoana pretty soon, so we'll probably do that on the next turn as well. Um, LeMay can actually, let's see, can she even scoot around these guys? I don't think she can. If Lanera moves a little bit further away, then she might be able to, but I don't want to waste too many of our turns just scooting these guys around um, for breeding. So we'll have her breed with him for now, and then um, we'll keep an eye open for predators because these guys are really close to all of the grass right now. So let's see. Anything that we need to keep an eye on? Um, oh no, they're getting sick. Oh no. Well, we have this beautiful baby who came out sick, unfortunately, and I see some rustling grass back there too, which is not good. We're going to go see what that is in the next turn. Um, but look at that. The immunity genes are pretty good. There's no bee in sight. They still have the violet eyes and the recessives as well as the panda patterns. So there's still hope yet that we can pull those out of uh, those genetics. But we need to see what is rustling here. That is the next priority. Neurokir, why don't you move out of the way so that your mother can hopefully get up there if she needs to? And LeMay, why don't you scoot in? Um, whatever it is is gone. Oh dear. Oh dear, that's not good. So something is moving around. Oh yeah, it's back there now. Oh geez. So that means it's probably not a wandering creature. Um, I'm not sure if that means it's a carnivore. I mean, they don't usually move in between our turns, so I don't think it is. Uh-oh. Oh no, not this guy. Is this the guy it is? Oh my goodness, I was not expecting this guy so soon. Okay, so this creature, this spit snout, is one that we cannot take into the pack. We can't control this guy. His main purpose on this island is just to breed with our females and spread his really rotten genetics. Um, he has double no paws, which is going to be a problem. He doesn't have the blindness trait though, which is quite interesting. He has the violet eyes too. Oh my gosh, that's quite funny because of course we want the violet eyes in our pack, but we don't want this. We don't want no paws, so we're going to keep a very close eye on him. And in fact, Ikoana, we want you to move away from this guy. Um, I believe, yeah, we can attack him. We can attack him and possibly scare him away, so LeMay, why don't you do that? There we go. We scared that guy away, at least for now. And uh, Ikoana can come over here and maybe breed with Rovan straight away so that we don't end up with um, these genetics that we really don't want to see in our pack. Um, Lanair, you can possibly do a little bit of exploring at least and keep an eye for uh, the male wandering in the grass right now. Kukudu can come this way too. Um, we have a couple of these acorns to pick up and we do want to clear out this area around the tree so that we can use all of these tiles. We can pick up all of those acorns. Um, and I think that might actually be it, but oh, we unlocked a new gene too! The toxic body! Oh my gosh, we haven't seen that in so long! That's good, so we can possibly get the toxic body back into the pack too. And um, Coca-Cola, why don't you come down here and pick up some of these acorns for us at least? Um, we do want to keep a very close eye on that food because we're already below 200 again. Lanair can pick up a couple of these um, little tiles as well. And, uh, oh geez, we need somebody next to these babies too. I almost forgot. We'll place Rovan right there so that um, this little baby is protected. Ducro. 
and this one is very well protected, but I think that might be the male again. Oh my gosh, that's going to be very, very tricky to keep that guy away from us, isn't it? Okay, so let's skip the turn again and see where it ends up going. And there's, oh my gosh, oh, the oldest members of the pack are already passing away. And I see something else wrestling over here, so we need to go see what that is too. We have a lot of sickness in the pack right now, which is not exactly the best thing. Um, but let's see what this is. Lanair, with your final, final turns. Of course, it's a carnivore. That's what I expected. But luckily, you are very strong, so you should be able to help us. Can you actually take him out in two hits? Oh my gosh, Lanair, talk about a beast. <laughs> she can take out a carnivore in two hits. Oh my goodness. So she is definitely proving herself to be a very suitable queen. But we need LeMay to come up here and pick up this meat. And then I think we need to stick her in this nest so that she can have her baby because she is getting a little bit old. So Anna Anna, is that your name? Anna Anna? <laughs> She's going to need to uh, move out of the way here. Unfortunately, it looks like she does not have either of uh, the special paws, it's just the running leg. So it doesn't seem like she's going to be a, a warrior or a collector. She's go actually going to be a, a scout for us. So let's see, LeMay, can you make it over here? Oh my gosh, she needs one more turn. One more turn to make it over there. So instead, why don't we have Aikoana come over here so that she can uh, give birth to her baby. And since we want her to uh, kind of take on the line of our scouts, we'll go ahead and place the running legs in the 30% slot and the ram horns in the 10% uh, so that we can hopefully keep the ram horns on our line of royalty. I think that would be a, a fun idea anyway. Now we can pick up the acorns that we've knocked down for food and um, Coca-Cola can come down here and do the same thing, I think. We'll have her pick up these. Um, we might have actually wanted to leave her by the berry bushes since it just rained too. That might have been a good idea, but at least we only have a couple of these to look after and our food is back up over 200 again. So there we go. We're doing pretty good. We'll uh, keep Neurokir in the area to hopefully fend off that male that's wandering around in the grass right now. And I think Rovan for now can kind of uh, scoot off of this way to take up the uh, previous job of making a path toward these nests. Because we do want to have as many nests in the area as possible. And I think that might be it, so let's go ahead and skip the turn again. And uh, see if anything comes jumping out at us. Um, it looks like we're okay. It looks like we're fine. And oh my goodness, there's the spit snout. So Lala, <laughs> Lala is the first spit snout to be born on this brand new island. And she has the berry paw. She actually managed to get the berry paw. She also has the blind eyes and her recessives. But uh, all right, so we have another berry paw collector for us, which is pretty good because we do need to pick up all of these berries right now. And oh my gosh, I think the other brother ended up passing away too. So the oldest generation of our males did pass away, but they were at least able to give us um, a good supply of food while they were still alive. So at least they were able to contribute to this new island. And honestly, guys, I think we're pretty lucky so far. I think we're doing pretty good. No sight of those birds yet. I'm keeping my eyes on the sky, but we haven't had um, any run-ins with those baby stealing birds. So fingers crossed that it stays that way. But I am very pleased with the state of our new island so far. And Lanair, it looks like this is going to be your very, very last turn. So on your final day on this island, we'll allow you to spend your time with your children as we end out this episode. So thank you all so much for watching today and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys!